Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight. So today we're going to be looking at, uh, this is Fluid Flux 2.1, right? So most of you may have already seen this scene of this water cascading down this and then you see all the buoyancy effects, right? And I'm going to walk up a little bit so you can see a little bit more. And what's amazing is that you can hear the audio effects from the water itself. That's, this separates fluid flux from a lot of the other you know, fluid simulations in the Unreal Engine. And this is real time. That's what's incredible. This is real time. But anyway, let me show you 2.1, what they've just added. I'm going to press 7. So they've added a new infinite ocean. <laughs> so think about it, guys. If you have a scene where you want to do like an armada of sorts, you know, like maybe a submarine or aircraft carrier, this would be a great, 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 great plugin to use. And you can see how far it can go. With It has form, just like you can see off in the distance. It looks very realistic. And, and guys, this is in real time. Fluids are extremely, extremely expensive to render and simulate in real time. So for Fluid Flux to be able to provide this capability inside of the Unreal Engine is amazing. And this is uh, Unreal Engine 5.3. So now they're taking advantage of uh, Lumen, right? It looks beautiful. <laughs> and let me see if I can actually go over here to the end. And I'm going to switch the colors up a little bit. So I'm going to press I. So you can actually see the color of the water changing to different. Look at that. Press I again, and then you can, <laughs> it's just like this blood in the water, like sharks have been swimming. And what's also amazing, this same uh, offering is also, it has buoyancy, so you can see the boat right there floating up and down. I mean, there's some calculations that are not exactly perfect, but overall you can see what I mean, is that if there's like a shipwreck, so again, I'm thinking of uh, like previews if you want to create like a scene for a, uh, your director maybe you're trying to pitch an idea for a real life film right this is one way that you can actually use this as a simulation to then showcase what a scene might look like maybe like ships have been fighting like maybe uh, like a historic piece maybe for the national geographic or maybe even uh, the history channel you're able to use this as a, an amazing amazing simulation Look at that. And if I put, press the L key, I can move it around, move the sun around. So you hold down the L key and then move your mouse. You're able to look at that. <laughs> that looks amazing. And if I switch out the water color, different shades, that's beautiful, right? And you can actually, let's go push one of these cases up. But first, let's raise the sun up a little bit. Okay, so more like that. And actually you can see the shadows or, or, or being cast on the waves as well. That's amazing, okay. So we're going to push this into the water and you can see the buoyancy. Boom. So it goes deep into the water and then it eventually surface because of the physics properties. Let's push this one also. Boom. And now I'm going to dive in. Now I hate, <laughs> I don't, I'm not a very good swimmer. I grew up in Uganda. Uganda is a landlocked country. So I never really had a chance to like, maybe if I lived in Hawaii, I would have been able to but this is very scary to me it feels like i am actually drowning but let me swim to the top i want to go up and swim to the surface okay there we go <laughs> and you can see the character actually interacting ah you guys have no idea how I, like this it makes me feel because i feel like i'm gonna drown but that's the amazing part i mean thing about fluid flux is that being able to be in this ocean so you can imagine if it's like uh, if you're doing like a special forces scene and they're on like those speedboards going on to land 
and getting nearer and closer and closer to the land let me see if i can actually like, come out in space a tiny bit and look around <laughs> look at that that is uh, amazing and this to be in real time blows my mind right that is really cool so anyway guys that's what i wanted to show you is that they've updated fluid flux to include a new uh, let me go to another scene so this is the waterfall let's go over to i want to see the water coming down the mountain okay so there's the water coming over down cascading and this is the demo for the waterfall but look at that and the sound effects <laughs> and the buoyancy like the boat right there the weight acmid is low yeah and if it gets caught up it probably will fall it will either fall over the cliff or get stuck nice keep going all right there it goes down down <laughs> That is amazing. This is in real time, guys. This is what blows my mind when it comes to fluid flux. You can do waterfalls. You can do rivers. You can see how the water is actually mixing down there. You see the special, like the, the simulation, the real time simulation. That is incredible. To be able to do that in real time is amazing. And then the water continues down all the way down. So imagine if you have like an island scene and you're trying to do like maybe a call for pirates, right? This would be like a, a really, really good starting point. And you can add this to the uh, sequencer and render it. I've done that and I know it's, it looks really, really good. And be able to capture and record the audio effects because that will add to the realism of that. So anyway, guys, uh, let me see if I can actually change the color of the water. There we go. Can see different colors ah <laughs> and so what's amazing is that you see how the water is flowing down there this is red the water is red and as it goes down it starts to mix a little bit right there and then you can also change the water that's closer to the land to a different color as well so you get like a different feel to it but look at that guys isn't that amazing and then of course we can press hold the L key down and then move the sun around to see the different lighting effects just like that that is beautiful okay that was a quick update guys a quick insight to show to tell with you guys that uh, uh imaginary blend that's the company they've uh, updated fluid flags to have uh, like uh, that ocean scene let me bring it back again with water going all the way to the horizon with foam as you can see over there so i highly recommend it especially if you're doing previews but this can also work in a final render as a piece a pixel like final pixels so hope you try it out guys let me know what you think if you already are using it please let me know i would love to hear back from you and see what you guys think all right bye for now and please stay blessed as always dare to dream big Never give up on your dream and we continue to use the Unreal Engine to bring our stories to life. Stay blessed. Bye for now.